What is portfolio rebalancing and why is it important? Hi, I'm Pattu from Freefin Callan. Let's consider this question in this video. Let's say I start with 60% equity in my portfolio and 40% of fixed income. After one year, I get a terrific year in equity and, it, and the 60% uh, grows to 90% and the, I, have, I have only 10% of fixed income. So now rebalancing essentially means I reset my portfolio back to 60% equity and 40% fixed income. So I basically take out some gains from equity and I shift it to fixed income. So I preserve that gain. That's called rebalancing. On the other hand, if, after, if, in the next year, if I get uh, if I get a disastrous return and my equity uh, portion reduces so much that it is only about 20% of my portfolio and uh, therefore fixed income is 80%, now I can uh, rebalance it back to or reset it back to 60% equity and 40% uh, fixed income in the hope that when equity recovers, I will get a uh, uh, decent return. So that's uh, that, so this is two-way rebalancing. Uh, uh, when equity is has given you good returns and the market is at a high, you can uh, shift the gains to fixed income. Or when the market has crashed, you can shift some amount from fixed income to equity in the hope that you will uh, you uh, you will reap benefits when the market picks up again. This is essentially the idea behind rebalancing. This is not a method to get higher returns. This is a method to lower the risk in your portfolio. Let's look at an example. Now these are the annual returns of ICICI top 100 mutual fund. You can see how the uh, annual return in 2007 is 44%, it goes to minus 47%, 74%, 17%, minus 20%, 32%, 11%, it swings back and forth, back and forth. In another video, uh, I had talked about sequence of returns risk. You can see how uh, this sequence is pretty risky. Now, if I had started with 60% equity, after one year, in 2007, my portfolio would be about 67% of equity. The next year, it would drop all the way down to 44% or 45%. So I, I will have a 20% loss in my equity allocation if I did not rebalance it. And you can see how those blue bars are the uh, fluctuations in an unrebalanced portfolio. Rebalancing essentially means uh, at the end of each year, I reset my equity allocation back to 60%. Whether it is above 60% or below 60%, I reset it back to 60%. That's called rebalancing. Now, in this particular sequence of return, the rebalanced value of the portfolio at the end of each year, you can see, is, is a little bit higher. The rebalanced portfolio at the end of those, uh, 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 you know, 12 years or so is higher than the unrebalanced total, but it need not always be that case. So, uh, nine years, sorry, not 12 years. It need not always be that case. And uh, sometimes when you rebalance once a year or every few years, you may end up with lower returns and a lower um, corpus. But please recognize that rebalancing is a method to reduce risk and not enhance return. Rebalancing will help you sleep in peace. Catch you again later. Bye-bye.